Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Focus with Faiza. We will be speaking to Ahmed Nawaz. Ahmed Nawaz is not only a fighter, but a survivor from the very sad and black day of 16 December at APS Peshawar. He lost many friends and also his dear brother, who are all martyrs now. Ahmed is taking forward the noble cause of not only enlightening Pakistani youth, about uh, educating them and about bringing in sustainable development goals and highlighting them for Pakistan. So let's speak to Ahmed about his goals for the future. Ahmed, tell us you're at Oxford now. What are your plans for the future and what would you like to do in the future for the youth of Pakistan? Yes, thank you very much for inviting me on your show, of course. Um, and um, uh, so I now study at Oxford after having come about five years from that attack. Um, um, I started at Oxford in this October. Uh, my first term I just finished uh, last week. Uh, but after, uh, after that attack, I have been really determined to achieve uh, the most that I can because I believe it sends those terrorists who attacked us a message that they can do whatever they want, but they cannot stop us from achieving, uh, from achieving the stars, essentially. So I, uh, I, I now study at Oxford and I'm uh, also continuing with my social activities. In the future, my plan is to uh, com continue with the campaign uh, that I have been doing um, all, for young people all around the world, uh, but particularly focus on the young people of Pakistan who have been ignored for a large amount of time, uh, also by the Pakistani government, but also by the international community. I need to make sure that uh, more light is shed on the uh, issues faced by the young people in Pakistan uh, in terms of the lack of opportunities uh, and also in terms of the lack of awareness about of these issues. So uh, I want to uh, tackle all of those issues over the coming years uh, and try to empower young people of Pakistan uh, through different means, uh, because I think that's our most valuable currency. And that is the only way we'll be able to have um, uh, a future that is more peaceful and that is more prosperous for everyone in the country. Very well said, Emma, that the youth is definitely, you know, it's the future currency of any nation. You as the young ambassador for Pakistan, how do you find yourself in the international community talking about Pakistan? Pakistan has given a lot of sacrifices in this war on terror, and yet we still face a lot of questions globally. So you yeah. as a Pakistani ambassador or a, a young uh, individual from Pakistan, how do you tackle it when you're speaking to international audiences? Yeah, I think it's it's a very tricky thing because uh, Pakistan has developed a reputation for um, um, also being the most affected, but also uh, kind of being uh, blamed for uh, a lot of these things that are happening. Um, uh, but when I speak at these uh, global conferences, I, I always try to uh, help people understand that the country itself has suffered a lot uh, and that they are trying their best to, so, uh, to kind of uh, overcome th this issue of extremism and all the other issues that exist in our society. Uh, but the international community also must understand and also must um, somehow help the, uh, not just the young people, um, but also generally uh, the country uh, at, at different stages um, um, and understand the perspective, which is the most important thing, the perspective of Pakistan and the perspective of Pakistanis. Um, so, yeah, I think it has been a, a very proud thing for me to go around the world representing Pakistan, to speak for the people of Pakistan. Uh, and I wish to do continue doing so in the future as well. Okay, and in the end, Ahmed, when you speak to international audiences or to people around you, what do you tell them about Pakistan? I'm sure you're very proud of your Pakistani roots. You've, you've mentioned that before, but what do you tell them about Pakistan? I begin with the resilience of the people, uh, of how resilient everyone in that country is, uh, despite of, decades of terrorism that took place, uh, people did not lose hope. The people did not stop struggling for a peaceful future. Um, and it is that resilience that has brought us so uh, far ahead and out of that dark, uh, out of those dark days of terrorism. Um, and beginning with those, uh, then I 
speak about the hard work of my fellow Pakistanis who put in the effort to make sure that they sustain uh, this peaceful uh, today for tomorrow. Um, and also just telling them about how talented the young, uh, young Pakistanis are uh, and how much they need opportunities to kind of use that talent uh, to kind of put that to some use, uh, use all the potential uh, for something useful um, and so that they can also benefit from it and also the global community would benefit if um, young people are more utilized. Thank you so much for your time, Ahmed. We wish you all the best for your future. Uh, you. We wish you safety and your family a lot of safety and we wish you a lot of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You very much.